obviously I'm excited about the format of the season, probably first and foremost, because it means for us, our best players uh, will be around, around a lot more. Um, as you can see, there's, there won't be any overlap with international fixtures. Obviously, with camps and stuff, we think we might miss them for maybe three, max four games. But the, the, at the substance level, I'm probably really excited about that because it means the season format allows us to have our best players more often than we've been able to in the previous format. So I'm, I'm pretty delighted about that and excited about that. And then probably for me, I don't know if it's just me, but one of the things I'm, I'm really excited about is the, is the regional pools. Because I think that does mean something. Like a lot of the of the commentary I see around the league, I think creating the regional pools, and I can see the level of interest that exists in the derbies, in particular in the league that we play in. So I think creating regional pools, which generate a, a European qualification, has a real substance to it. And there's a lot of spice, as we all know, in Welsh derbies. And I think this really genuinely adds a lot to it. I think it's actually put a structure around something that was already probably one of the most important parts of the league for supporters. So the, 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 the pools, I think, are super exciting. And of course, lastly, you know, let's be blunt. I think, you know, the quality of, uh, of admission of the teams from South Africa means that, you know, the United Rugby Championship now has, you know, a very strong lineup of players and teams, which has to be a great thing in the long term for the development of, of the interest in the league. I'm probably more excited, though, about the fact that this format, to me, has made the best, I think, of the nations that participate in this league. You know, we have five nations that basically contribute now to the United Rugby uh, Championship. And if you think about those five nations, you know, they're strong global rugby countries. And I think the great thing about um, the format, other than stabilising, if you like, which I think is the point you're making, I think is, is now making the most of those, um, of those five countries because of the, I like the idea of, of 18 games and then the knockout phase. I think that's exciting for supporters and also keeps teams interested um, uh, right to the latter stages of the league, which for me feels important and I, th I think is something we, we've rightly now improved. And I think the second bit is the bit I've already touched on, you know, the fact that, you know, there's, there's very little overlap with the international calendar compared to how it used to be, I think is, is probably the, the most radical and exciting change that's been made here, which really does genuinely allow the best players to be on show uh, for their clubs um, uh, far more frequently, I think, is probably the second thing. But yeah, you're right. I think, you know, for the next four or five years now, we've got a very clear and stable format. And I think that's important. And I think supporters can very easily understand this and get excited about the fact that the championship will go on a lot longer because of the way it's now been structured. And there's interest in it for everyone, whether it's in your Welsh regional pool or whether it's in the main league. I think those two things will complement each other very nicely. Well, I think if you think for supporters and for players and for, for us as, a, as, a, as people who run the Dragons, you know, we want to be playing the best players and, and I think supporters want to be seeing the best players. And for us as owners, we want to be, we want to be competing the best, the best players because ultimately that'll benefit all of us in the long term, both in terms of interest in the league, sponsors and commercial, and ultimately broadcast interest in the league. So I think, you know, absolutely that, you know, that, that will, are these good teams? Definitely. I've watched them um, over the last six months with interest and you can see the quality of the, the players they have, you know, that these are global players that would be famous and well known um, to any rugby fan that watches international rugby. So they will, you know, for sure, these will be, these will be competitive games without question. But I think that poses an important question for us as Welsh rugby. You know, we've got to make sure that we, you know, put ourselves in the best possible foot in to compete with these teams. And what does that mean? It means we've got to invest in, in, in the club game and we've got to make sure that we give ourselves the best chance possible because clearly over the next four or five years, this league is going to become one of the most important professional leagues in world rugby. I think it's very clear now from this morning's announcement that it's positioned to be that. And as Welsh rugby, we should absolutely make sure that we're in a position to best represent ourselves. Thank <laughs> you.